this is the first lecture of the term, and it's on probability theory. Uh, this is just the starter definitions, so just the, the stuff you should know. Right, first off. So I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> okay, right. The sample space. This is the set of all the possible outcomes, and we write omega. So, um, we're flipping a coin, the sample space is heads and tails. Uh, F, now this is a subscript F, this is a, a superscript even, this is a, a fancy F that you'll see, uh, but I couldn't find it, let's put on the slide, uh, this is the event space, and if you find something that's an element of it, then this is an event. Uh, sigma algebra, now we know something sigma algebra, if omega is an element of F, which is generally quite obvious, and if uh, a, uh, a is an element of f, then the inverse of a is an element of f. Now, a and the inverse, you'll always find this, such as here we have omega. Uh, omega is the set of all elements, so the op opposite, the inverse of that would be no elements, which we've got here. Uh, the next one, uh, it's if everything is an element of f, really. Uh, disjoint. Something is disjoint if you have AI and AJ. Now the N is a N, as in fish and chips. So uh, from normal pro uh, statistics, you should know this means and, uh, but I separated it a little bit. So if this and that uh, is zero, so there's nothing the same in anything, so each of these is unique with its characters for all i not not equal to j yeah so we've got a1 and a2 have nothing the same uh, now finding the probability of something we set this out here so we have a uh, probability of x occurring is uh, the size of x now this is what this mod these modular signs mean it's not um determinant or modulus it's the number of elements in x, where you've got here, divided by n, which is your number altogether. Right, here's an example. We have rolling a dice. Now, uh, our f is omega, this is all the parts of it, we have omega and we have the empty set, because we've got to have our, we've got, we've got to have the opposite to everything that we have in there. So this is everything, this is nothing. Uh, omega, what are the chances on a dice? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a fair dice, by the way. So we have our different parts here. We have A, which is 1 and 2, B, which is 2, 3, 4, and C, which is 5, 6. Uh, what's the probability of A? Now, like I said before, uh, we have the number of elements divide, uh, in what you're finding divided by the number of elements altogether. So, um, here we have two elements in A, and there's six altogether, so the probability is a third. Yeah. For B, we have three, so the probability is a half. For A and C, so what's the chance of something happening, uh, an event occurring that occurs in both A and C? One, two, five, six, they're completely different. There's no way you can roll the dice and get both something in A and something in C. So, so the chances of that is zero. Or the empty set, this is what this is. Uh, probability of A or C. So it could be A or C, which is four. It's got four elements divided by six, which is two thirds. This is basic stuff, but some people might have not done it. Uh, probability of A and B. Let's have a look. So we have here we have two is in both, so that's one element in both of these, and there's six elements altogether, so probability is a six. Yeah. <laughs>